ouch, it's a quarter till three in the morning. We really need to get to bed. Have you ever felt so alone and so isolated that nobody understood your truth, even if you were to try to speak it out loud? Yes, that is exactly what we are going through. Welcome to our channel. We are the Noodle System. What you are about to watch is probably triggering, but what you are going to get from it is a conversation starter. We share our personal intimate video journals with you in hopes to get some clarification. So please comment below if you have experienced anything we are experiencing. This video is going to cut out in just a second. And it's going to be followed up by another video, hopefully. I have an appointment with the surgeon tomorrow, so we're going to see what he says before we make a plan for surgery. Maybe that's why we're up late. I'm pretty sure that's why. We can't sleep and we're nervous, but we felt inspired tonight to write our noodle constitution. And we just finished it and it feels really good, but we're so tired we can <laughs> barely contain our excitement. <laughs> so anyways, um, I'm going to tell you about our noodle constitution in the morning. So stay tuned, that's just a couple of seconds from now. And if you need context, uh, click on this link here in the corner because that's where the therapist suggested that we find our core values, kind of like how all the government laws are based around the United States' core values. That's what it's supposed to be anyways. So I'm going to talk in just a second. Hold on. It's morning time. I've got just a couple of things, Crystal, I want to say to you. I want you to remember this because I know you're not going to remember this. But this is important. Please remember this. I want you to remember how vulnerable and broken you had to be the other night with the uncontrollable crying the hyperventilating type of crying the snot running down your elbow as you're bawling your eyes out that kind of vulnerable that kind of broken I want you to remember how bad it had to get. It had to get that, you had to get that vulnerable and that broken before he was able to be kind and gentle the way you want him. Before you were able to feel loved. He doesn't love you when you're strong. He doesn't love you when you're sure of yourself. He doesn't love you when you're confident. He doesn't love you when you're independent. You notice how uncomfortable he is. You notice how paranoid he is when you're confident, when you're strong, when you're being you, when you're happy, when you're dancing and being goofy and when you're having a good time doesn't show you the love that you need and you love and you want and you require until you're broken so broken that you're begging for his love and you're begging for his forgiveness and you're taking it all on as your own you're not blaming him you're giving him a pass every time you give him a pass every time you say it's all you that you're the crazy one that you're the broken one and you're crying uncontrollably that's when he loves you back the way you want to. I also want you to remember that all this noodle stuff began when you last fell apart uncontrollably 
on June 4th. And then you fell apart again on July 2nd. But you weren't as broken July 2nd as you were on June 4th. And so he didn't love you on June 2nd, July 2nd. He wasn't kind on July 2nd. You were broken, but you weren't that broken. You were, you were, you were strong. You were, you were, you were going through your stuff. You were trying to figure it out. You were, you were upset. You were broken. You were struggling and everything, but I just know that you're not going to leave him as long as you think you need him. And I also know that you don't remember half of what you go through. I'm so tired. It's like seven something in the morning. I went to bed almost three o'clock. I wanted to read to you our declaration that we made last night because we're proud of it. Is it our declaration, our constitution, our core values? That's what it is, core values. Each one of the noodles got a chance to speak from their pain and from their hope and their beliefs. Three-year-old Lilac says, we require peace. Yelling is unacceptable. She's a smart little noodle. Purple says, we require alone time. How we spend our free time is our choice. Gold says, we, re we value respect, honor, goodness. We will not associate with scum. Yeah? Okay. racing really fast. <sighs> Yellow says we value positive vibes. Mint says we value honesty and will always strive to speak our truth when we feel safe to do so. Till says we value acts of kindness as long as our needs are not dismissed or sacrificed. Red says we value structure, routine, responsibility, and want these to work for us, not against us. We can be balanced at it. Cyan Blue says... We require emotional stability, however that looks like. We will not be ashamed if we cry, take pills, video journal, have weekly therapy sessions, whatever we need. Maroon says we do not need anyone's permission to exist. We are valuable with or without validation, love, praise, or acceptance. We do not need to lessen our personality out of fear of rejection. Peach says, we are enough. We will not compare our abilities to others or allow others to tell us how we measure up. Indigo says, we require safety. Starting today, we will not turn the other cheek when someone is getting bruised physically or verbally. Magenta says 
We do not have to be afraid of anger. We can own our anger and learn healthy ways to communicate our anger and pain. We don't have to be impulsive to be noticed. Green says we are allowed to love without games, manipulation, or ridiculous expectations. Love is not forced. It's natural. It's fluid. It's organic. Orange says we will learn better timeouts. Pushing through is not as valuable as self-care. Working to avoid the thoughts and pain is not self-care if done as a replacement to practicing breathing exercises. Pink says, we require all noodles to feel valuable and safe before sex. Black and white says, we will practice gratitude as the antidote to suicidal thoughts. And lastly, Lime says, we will honor our relationships, but we will not be dominated by them. Remember, fluid, not forced. And those are my 17 core values. And if I have more, I'm sure I do. They didn't come off they didn't come up as naturally as those ones did. Tell me what your car values are, please, in the comments below. I wouldn't mind adopting some more. As you can tell, I've got to get up and get ready so we can go to this stupid surgeon appointment. And he's my He's my warden. He's going to make sure I get there on time and I'm supposed to be grateful for that because yeah, without him I probably would be late. I'd probably dissociate so hard that I'd forget we even have an appointment. He's my caretaker. But I don't want to need him. I don't want to. Please comment again. Thank you.